Hello, this is Stuart Fleming. In tonight's video, we're going to work with subversion and we're going to continue working with branching. I learned something uh, just this evening um, that was causing me some havoc when I was branching. So here you can see that I have a v001 uh, directory. And um, let's say that I would want to branch, and I know this isn't the norm to do it this way, but I'm going to branch from my v001 to another directory. Now, normally what I had been doing was being creating a new directory and v, I'm just going to call it xxx because later I'm actually going to remove this. I now have my branch here. And so I would come over here and I would then do branch and tag. You can see that I'm starting from here, and then I would want to go not to here, but to my new directory. And what was happening was I would create it, but then I'd get this funky v001, and then, then the second time it would just create a, a file there after that, and you can see that it's um, continuing on. So um, ignore this. This was a, a mistake I had made earlier an earlier version of this video. So um, this is not the way to do it. The way to do it is not to create the directory first, but to branch and tag. Here you have the starting places, which is where we want to go. And then you actually type in, you do not create it, and you can actually create it here too, but you're not going to create it using this thing. You don't want to do that, okay? you would actually go at the trunk, okay, and then type in your v003, no, v002 directory. And that will create a nice, clean directory structure. You won't have the v000x and then another, uh, basically, the carryover from this one. You get a, a clean one. Okay, so that's basically how to do branching. You do not create the directory first. When you branch, now let's say I wanted to branch again. Um, I would remove that and I would just type in and it will automatically create that new directory for you, v 3 And you can see that I've got a nice model there. Okay, I hope this is helpful. It's a very small detail, but it was um, causing me some havoc in um, getting the directory structure of my subversion trunks to work nicely. Have a good evening.